the remnant, sons and daughters of God, children of the Most High, sitting with the Lord Jesus Christ now in high places because your spirit, my spirit, is connected to his right at this very moment. We are new creations, created none other but like, but like the most high God of the universe. Now that we are new creations, we are his sons and his daughters. And we have the honor and the privilege to be able to say that. And no, no, none of his other trillions and trillions of creations can say that, but we can what an honor, what a privilege. And the Lord gave us this wonderful um, book, the Bible, to um, teach us how we are to um, how we are to be today. These wonderful true stories, they're all true, um, are our examples of now, the end times, the last days. This, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you um, are interested in the last days, the end times, like the Antichrist, the Mark of the Beast, One World Church, the One World Economy, the Economic Collapse, the Mark of the Beast, False Prophet, Two Witnesses, the World Church, the New World Order, and things of that nature because they are fast upon us. If you've been paying attention, if you've been looking around and noticing things are a little bit different, the world is going crazy, then you, then you would know that we are living as in the days of Noah, just before the Lord flooded the earth and started all, all over brand new again. That's what's happening now. He gave us this wonderful um, chapter in Exodus with Moses, the children of Israel, the Philistines, and Egypt, and so on. As an example, God delivered the, the children of Israel, who, uh, by example, are we. We are the children of Israel in comparison. And Egypt is the world. Like I said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give a thumbs up because thumbs up is means that other people around the world will learn, be able to learn how to pray and read out of the Bible. People all in Africa, Australia, New Zealand, UK, all over. So it's called a thumbs up ministry. So do your part in spreading the, the gospel um, this way. That would be great. Now, the children of Israel has been, have been delivered for out of Egypt. And the uh, Pharaoh's army has, has cornered them in the Red, at the Red Sea. And then the Lord parted the Red, Red Sea for the children of Israel. And he will do the same thing for you in your life personally. And remember this, he will do a lot of things for you, but you have to press into him. You have to really get to the point where you trust in him and where you believe in him. When you ask God for things, do not forget that you asked him for these things because um, he'll do them. And when they happen, give him his honor, give him his praise and give him his glory oh, for sure. In this particular um, chapter, God swallowed, God, uh, the Red Sea swallowed up. Uh, Pharaoh, because Pharaoh and his army were crazy to chase after <laughs> the Israelites through a three mile wide dry land because it was dry uh, when God opened it up. We all know that when when um, water uh, touches sand or touches dirt, it makes mud. But now this land was dry and Pharaoh's crazy army and himself chased after them. And the Lord trapped them inside of the Red Sea. The Israelites got to the other side. That's us. That is you. And this water swallowed up everything. Horses, carriages, soldiers, servants, including the leader. 
And God will do this for us in our lives. If we only know this, it's because this is a wonderful example. And we're going to read this. We're going to read a little bit of it. One through 10, chapter 15 out of Exodus. It's also in the description area. Along with a, a prayer that you can say. If you are not saved and you would like to become saved. And then I'm going to pray this. Uh, for you and for, for for your family and for, for everyone who's listening to, the, to this and teach you how to actually pray out of the Bible. You use your imagination and you put you use your situations in your own life to pray. You don't try to pray, pray like Moses or Job or Noah or anybody out of the Bible. You just pray from your heart in your in your own personality, because that's why I gave you your God gave you your own personality because he loves your personality. He developed it for you, and he gave it to you as a gift. And he wants you to use it for his glory. Ready? Uh -huh. <clears throat> then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, where he hath triumphed gloriously. And the horse hath triumphed, hath thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength in the song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will repair him with attention. My Father is God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his have cast, cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are down to the Red Sea. The depths have covered them and sank into the bottom as stone. The right hand, O Lord, hath become glorious in power. In the right hand, O Lord, hath dashed into pieces the enemy, and in the greatness of his excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee, and sent his forth his wrath, and consumed them as stubble. And in the, the waters were gathered together, the flood stood upright in a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind and covered them and sink as lead in the mighty waters. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Lord, we come as individual thanking you very much for dying on the cross for each and every one of us. What an honor, what a gift making us new creations in Christ. And Lord, we love you. I love you, Lord. And we thank you very much for forgiving us all of our every sin that we've ever committed in our entire, entire life. Father, in Jesus' name, just as Moses sung and the children of Israel sang this song after you delivered them, out of bondage from every unclean thing, every unclean spirit, all the all the evil that had overtook took them for 430 years. Lord, we come to you and ask you to do the same thing in our individual lives, one by one, Lord Jesus. We're singing a song to you, Lord, and we're speak, speaking, saying, yes, Lord, I will sing. I'm singing. I sing to you unto God. I sing unto the Lord. I'm singing, Lord Jesus Christ, for you delivering me, for you delivering us. And we're grateful. We are grateful that you you bind every unclean spirit that we, and every force that comes against us and our family, our churches, our cities, our states, our countries, Lord Jesus Christ, and that you would have your perfect way in Jesus Christ. Yes, that's what the people sing, and that's what we sing, Lord Jesus Christ, because you will triumph. You have triumphed gloriously. Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask um, that the horse, his rider, be thrown into the sea, Lord Jesus Christ. All of them. Every, everything that's unlike you, Lord Jesus. Every unclean spirit, every devil, Lord Jesus Christ. Every power that, that doesn't line up with the word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask for you to step in, Lord Jesus Christ, and have your perfect way, Lord Jesus. Throw them all in the sea. They're, 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 they're noisome. They're, they're, they, they, they're, they're loud and they're, they, you know, they're, they're bad. And we don't want to have any parts of the, the, the rider, Lord Jesus Christ. We don't want to have any parts, any parts of his chariots, any, any parts of his horses, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask that you stop them in their tracks. 
Stop them in their tracks, Lord Jesus Christ. Throw them in the sea. The Lord is, is my strength in song. And Lord, continue to be my strength. Continue, continue to be, be the people's strength. We ask that your, your strength rise up inside of each and every one of us individually right now. And forevermore, Lord Jesus Christ. And a, and a song, your song, sings in our hearts, in our minds, in our thinking, in our thoughts all day long, Lord Jesus, in remembrance of you cleaning up, cleaning up our lives, Lord Jesus Christ, and making, helping us to make our lives better. And he has become thy salvation. He is my God. And Lord, you are our salvation and we know it and we thank you for it. We, we glorify you for it because you are our God, Father. And I will prepare him a habitation, um, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. And we do exalt you, Lord. And we want you to be more and more of our uh, habit to be able to talk to you from sun up to sundown and have, and have you to visit us in our dreams, Lord Jesus Christ, to be so that you're with us 24 hours a day, Lord Jesus Christ. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is a man of war. And Father, we thank you for being the man of war. Fight our battles for us and show us how to win. Show us how to be victorious, Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll give you, we do give you all the honor. You've helped us win so many wars before individually. So many of them. So many battles. And a lot of them we don't, we're not even aware of, Lord Jesus Christ. But we love your glorious angels that surround us all the time, our bodyguards. That war for us when we can't tell, when we can't see what's going on, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you are a man of war. And so are we. We're children of you, and we're warriors, Lord Jesus Christ. We're your sons and daughters, Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts have, have he cast down into the sea, and, chosen, and his chosen captains also are thrown into the Red Sea. Father, we, give you, we, we thank you, and we, we, we allow you, and we want you to, Lord, to... to um, cast into the sea Pharaoh and his chariots, chariots, all of them, every last one of them, anything that tries to, to bother us and to throw us to the side to 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 um, to dampen our trust, to dampen our belief in you, to dampen our faith in you, Lord Jesus Christ, drown them all in the sea, even the, all the captains, to the top down, all of them, the, the Pharaoh, his chariots, the captains, drown them in the Red Sea. We'd like to see this with our own eyes, Lord Jesus Christ, and help us to remember that you, that we asked you to do this, and this is that exactly what you're doing, so that our faith will grow. The depths have covered them and sank them to the bottom of stone, and we love the way you do this, to sink all of our enemies to the bottom of the Red Sea as rocks, as a stone. Do this. You have our permission and you have our blessings and we love you for doing it. Everything that comes against us, that's not like that's not in our not in your perfect plan. Lord Jesus Christ, we understand we're going to go through trials and tests Lord Jesus Christ. But anything that's unnecessary, that's not our, that, just don't let it happen. Let it sink to the uh, bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power and thy right hand, O Lord, have dashed in pieces the enemy. Father, use that right hand of yours because it is a good hand. To, it, it is glorious. Use that right hand, O oh Lord, and dash our all of our enemies. Each and every one of us as individual, dash them all into pieces. In Jesus' name, Lord. And we thank you for doing this, Lord Jesus. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them. Go ahead and do that. Continue to do that. Continue to overthrow each and every one of our uh, enemies, your excellency. And uh, thrown them and that rose up against them, that uh, setteth forth thy wrath and consumed them as stubble. Yes, Lord, we know that you have a powerful wrath. Use your wrath and consume all of our enemies as stubble. Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we pray. And with a blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. 
Go ahead and you can breathe, Lord Jesus Christ, and gather up those waters, Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the flood stood upright as a heap. And we thank you for doing that for us as the children, as your children, the children of Israel, your sons and daughters, so that we can get through and get away from the enemies, Lord Jesus, that chase us down and stalk us and um, that are just sick in the head and just want to destroy us, Lord Jesus Christ. And the depths were congealed in the Red Sea. Swallow them up. Swallow up all our enemies, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. The enemy said that I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. And my lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword and my hand shall destroy them. And you will not let this happen. And we pray that you do not let this happen in our lives, Lord Jesus Christ. And let, in fact, let the same, let the, that this happen to our enemy seven times more, worse than what would have happened to us, Lord Jesus Christ. Let it, send it back to them, Lord Jesus. Destroy them, Lord Jesus Christ. Divide them. Overtake them and pursue them. Send warrior angels to pursue them and destroy them instead. Because we're tired of them. And we're not going to stand by and just let it happen, Lord. We're going to pray. And we're going to read and we're going to fast and we're going to worship. And we're going to wait on you, Lord, as you, while you destroy our enemies, Lord Jesus Christ. Thou didst blow with thy, uh, did blow with thy, um, thy wind. The sea covered them. Let the sea cover them up. Let the sea swallow them all, Lord Jesus Christ, because they sank as lead in the mighty waters. And let that's what they need to do. Because we're done with them. We're through with them. We're tired of them, Lord. I'm tired of what they're doing to our countries, our lives, our world, Lord Jesus Christ, that you gave us as a gift, Lord Jesus Christ. So finish them off, Lord Jesus Christ. We'll continue to keep waiting on you, and we, we love you for everything that you're doing in our lives, Lord Jesus Christ. All the tests, all the trials, and all the great times, too. And we thank you for everything. We're going to see you soon. And we know that we're, we're, um, that, that, that we're in the, 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 we are the final generation. Give us the strength that we need, Lord Jesus Christ, to, um, to get through this. Lord, we need it. And Father, there's hungry people around the world. Feed them all today. Thirsty people, give them all fresh water. Homeless people, give them all shelter, a roof overhead. Let every individual know that you love them very, very much, Lord Jesus Christ. Separate the wheat from the tares, Lord Jesus Christ. And save every soul. And after they're saved, Lord Jesus Christ, keep them all. And Father, each and every one of us, we forgive everyone that has ever done us wrong in our lives. We thank you that we can have this um, the wonderful gift to be able to forgive and f about uh, the people that have wronged us, Lord Jesus Christ. We love you wherever and ever. We honor you, praise you, give you all the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and give a thumbs up. And uh, you guys have a great day.